with cartoons? Well, this is your game, Cuphead. That's right, Cuphead. So we've been playing a lot of Cuphead together lately and having a lot of fun and share some thoughts on it. So what do you th what do you think about Cuphead? It's amazing because it's like a set on an old cartoon. It looks, so it looks like it's all like old cartoon and like silly like old cartoon. And it's like really hard though and really fun. They did a really, really good job of making it look like a 1930s cartoon. Uh, some of that early animation, they just did an amazing job with that. Um, if you followed the game's development at all, it took a long time to make, and mostly it's because they were hand-drawing all the animation from it, which uh, something I really appreciate. You don't get a lot of hand-drawn animation anymore. Mostly it's uh, computer-generated animation now, which which is good too, but um, it's good to have both. So what else do you like about Cuphead? It's how, like, it's cool how you have, like, buy different potions and then they and then they do different stuff, like, when you shoot. And then, like, it's really cool how, like, each boss has a different pattern. Like, really cool how it all looks and how, like, you play it. And yeah, if you haven't played Cuphead, um, it's a boss rush kind of game. There's only a few levels in each world and then there's a lot of bosses in each world so boss is definitely the focus and learning their patterns and um, going to different phases of each boss is the main thing of the game mm -hmm. and the the levels they're all right they're they're nothing too exciting but the bosses are where it's at the bosses are really fun exciting you'll want to get to each next boss to see what it's going to be and what each phase of it's gonna look like. Yeah, and then also like this story is kind of like a good story. Basically, they're just wandering off and gambling, and then oops, you make wrong choice, and then Cuphead's a fool, and he ends up getting their souls gonna get taken. But then the way they settle it is by making a deal with the devil, and that and they'll go collect all the souls. So basically, that's why you're fighting all the bosses to get their souls for you don't get away your souls. And the secret plan is that you're building up your power so that you'll be able to take on the devil when it's time. Yeah, and then also, so I think that if you think about it, you're kind of like the bad guy. Not like all the bosses you're fighting because they're bad for not like really accepting the deal. But the like you're kind of bad though because like you're just going over to them trying to take their souls away. Yeah, you're you're doing bad too, I guess. Yeah, it's a two-player local co-op game. You play as Cuphead and Mugman. Um, of course, you could play one player also. Two-player, it does definitely change the experience. The other player can buy their own power-ups they want, um, so they can control things a little differently. And it's a very, very chaotic game. Stuff going on all over the screen. Mm -hmm. So adding a second player to that can make that a little harder. And then sometimes you'll lose track of who's who. Um, want to use red and want to use blue, so that helps. Well, and also the shapes are like the head is a little different. Yeah, they're a little different looking, but it's, it's also easy to get mixed up uh, for me sometimes. Yeah, I got mixed up a little, so that's why I get hurt sometimes. Definitely on the train level, like then I was falling off because I fought I was Cuphead, but I was really mug man. And yeah, in the heat of the moment with everything moving around, it's it's easy to get confused. Yeah, two player can make it harder, but it can also make things easier because once one player dies, when your ghost is floating up to heaven or wherever you're going, the other player can go hit that ghost and bring you back. So you can keep bringing each other back to life. Each time someone dies though, the ghost will go a little faster. And depending on where they are on the screen, it may not be possible to rescue them at all. But that does add something. If two skilled players are playing together, that would help. And then there's also um, one thing that uh, like is fair, but it's also really hard. When you die, you just have one health. Like, so yeah. Oh, when yeah, if you come back to life, you come back with one health. Normally you have three hits. Um, if you use one of the charms, you can have four hits. Yep, like I did. And usually we stick with that charm. There's other charms that do cool things, but if you're 
play like us, you'll want that extra hit. Um, it's a very hard game. If you're pretty skilled at old uh, two play old uh, 2D platformer type games and boss kind of games, you'll do all right. Um, the first two worlds had a few kind of challenges for me. When I got to the third world, that's when things got pretty tough. Yeah, and like each one, I guess, kind of remember like each boss, and it's like really fun. And to you, like a lot of them look really cool. Like, like me and my dad, our favorite level is the ghost train boss. It's pretty cool. Um, they all have really great variety. They all play very differently. Um, they're all full of kind of fun surprises. So definitely the bosses shine, shine strong here. Um, but it is very hard. It's the kind of game you're going to lose a lot and just have to keep playing and learning the pattern. And each time you play the boss, you'll get a little farther, learn that part of the pattern. Then you'll probably die. Have to get back to that part and then get through it, learn the next part of the pattern until finally get to the end. Um, yeah, usually there's like four stages and then make it get really hard. It's really hard because like what when you're gonna like like defeat a stage like you're just probably gonna die probably because you don't know the other pattern like it gets really hard but like also like the more like, like the more like like each world gets harder like each boss like the next boss you'll fight it could get harder probably it it can be a pretty frustrating game depending on what kind of gamer you are um i got frustrated sometimes where i want to take breaks or Bennett would want to play and I didn't really want to play because it can get annoying to just keep losing all the time, kind of disheartening. Yeah, and then, yeah, it's annoying how, like, you die a lot and only, like, every little once in a while you win and then continue. And there's no progress bar while you're playing the boss. After you die, it'll show you a progress bar that will show you sometimes you were just, like, one or two hits away from beating that boss. That's kind of frustrating that you see it after the fact, too. I wish there was maybe an indicator bar while you're fighting or something. Well, yeah, like on other games, I like go show like a line, like a red line, and then like it'll go down each time you hit. Then. Yeah, just like a health bar. So that, that might be helpful. It might change how you play. Like maybe you'd save up one of your super shots or you would at attack harder. Or who knows? Yeah, a health bar might have been helpful um, with your strategy on how you play. It's not a huge deal, though, but... Mm -hmm. if, if you're not the type that likes hard games, you won't really enjoy it. Um, if you love animation but you don't love challenge, it might be more fun for you to just watch someone else play the game. Or watch YouTube videos. Yeah, watch a, watch some anyone else really. But um, if you're up for a good challenge, it, it's good. Even just watching it, it's good because um, there's so much details. And when you're playing it, you can't really concentrate on the details. You got to concentrate on trying to move forward. Mm -hmm. But um, I would definitely recommend the game, um, and, and it's a budget title. I think it's only well, I forget exactly how much, but I know it wasn't a full price sixty dollar title. And I know sometimes it's on sale, and um, it's available on Xbox One and PC. So mm -hmm. give Cuphead a try. I just realized one thing, Doug. I know the only reason why they picked Cuphead to be the more main, like, like uh, the main character, don't tell you why. Why? Is this because the name is better, probably? Oh. Yeah, and maybe it looks a little better. You like Cuphead more than Mugman? I guess, but most of the time when I play, I'm Mugman. Oh. Well, I mean, I like blue more than red, so Mugman's pretty good. Yeah. I guess that works. Both and them. you're wearing blue and I'm wearing red. Yeah. So I guess I am <laughs> Cuphead and you're Mugman. Yep. Uh, and also here's the other thing. Every time I, I'm about to say Mug, I ac oh, uh, almost accidentally say Fug. Because they're both like, <laughs> they're both like really similar. Or no, this has a F sound. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so I just try to say Mugman, but sometimes I'm actually say Mug and Fugman. Alright, well this is Cuphead and Thugman saying goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>